<laughs> hey guys, welcome to another video. This is not how I'm gonna sound like. Cut that. No, I'm not gonna talk like that. Hi guys. Hey, it's been a while. Now, if you're new to the channel, hi. If you're not, hi. So, it's been a while since I uploaded something. Might as well, I uploaded like a some sinister, creepy Finance of Freddy's music. Well, guess what? I'm not just into Finance of Freddy's. I'm into other things. So, there's just so much I got on my head of scripts. I got too many scripts. I got like a big pile of different videos. I couldn't get anything done. I had to work for a couple of things. Some took longer than usual. There was a video that took about four years because my stupid computer kept going, you can't do this. Anyway, now that is over, I can actually continue working on videos. Today's special is just because something completely unoriginal reacting to another video. Now, the thing is, I'm not really into the whole reacting to other people's videos, especially with movies. Call yourself what you your reaction to the video. But some people react such in a, a way that just keep talking over and over and not pay attention to the film. Now I know a lot of people are like that in the cinema. In cases I have had cases where I was in the cinema and I had to put up through with the most bombastically stupid people. Like I watched the, the uh, Pennywise new remake of the It film and there was like these four women constantly on their phones the entire fucking movie. <laughs> like that. And I was like, God guys, shut up. But I wasn't like that because I was trying to pay attention to the film while my friends right beside me were so frustrated that I and one of them had to had had to wear headphones because he doesn't like the sound of loud sounds. To be honest, I would just want to do some stupid video, um, have some fun, and just to do something completely unoriginal like I said before. Now I'm going all over the place. This is great, isn't it? Yes! Last night I watched one of my favorite classic films because I love all kinds of films. Classic, new, I don't care. I started to rewatch and one of the most difficult movies ever made by Steven Spielberg, Jaws. He had loads of trouble working on the film and ended up being more infamous and actually made it more uh, better in terms of how it went well and difficulties with the mechanisms for the shark and he re <laughs> There's a documentary, not by from the movie Jaws I watched, but from another movie. Uh, was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It was a sequence with a boat and stuff like that. And you and Steven Spielberg said, uh, I started getting flashbacks from Jaws. Uh, yeah, for the Billy is like a nightmare for him anyway for the film. So I decided to rewatch it because it's just something I just, you know, I haven't seen in a while. And, and yes, it is a great film. But we're not as, obviously not as the other sequels, but a, you know, it might, there's a time, there's a time like in, with any franchise, by the time years later you will get around watching the sequels because you, you know, maybe you, you're just getting tired of seeing the first film all the time, you might as well want to see more of these characters or whatever. Anyway, I, I watched the first film and I stumbled upon a bunch of people reacting to the Jaws movie. I was intrigued at first, but oh boy, this was something like it. Probably this is going to be my first reaction video. Now, I'm not, this is my entire channel is not going to be on reaction videos because they're completely unoriginal. There's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with unoriginal stuff, but that that is not my. I don't know. I want to. My main my main focus is not going to be. Reaction videos. Let's see. Like, I don't know anything about this YouTube channel. I just want to poke fun. Be, just say being stupid. Something that is because my entire channel and you see my videos were completely. Well, they were. Yeah, to me, they were interesting, and they're interesting to other people. 
you know, with like replicas, books, antiques, whatever. The thing is, the way I'm talking throughout some of my videos is completely boredom, like, Welcome to the video. How may I see you look at this interesting product? I'm so tired. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. I'm video energetic today because I, I need I need some of that. I need some of that in my channel. I need to be um have a bubbling sense. And now now I'll talk more about that in a couple other videos, because this is I think I'm making this way too connected to the other videos that I've already planned. Um, easy to do, I guess, just to poke fun. Just have a good time. Something stupid, something funny, I guess. Funny. Well, that depends. Anyway, and before I sh uh, share or react to this video, no offense to these people, I don't know them, like, I don't even know this YouTube channel, I just want to play fun, okay? Don't take this personally. Let's get on with the video, right here. This is going to be confusing because I'm watching, we'll be watching from there. But I'll be, like, just make you look like I am reacting from this perspective. We, uh, we, uh, stop recording. I'm gonna move on to the... These kids are bugging out because once I already seen the red sh I'm out. Hi, I'm Alejandro. Chris. Taylor. Haley. Andy. And I've never seen. Never seen. Never seen Jaws. And straight off the beginning. I got a feeling this is going to be absolutely horrible. I haven't seen the film. And this is their first uh, experience when I watch the film. This is their thoughts on what they think what the movie is about. Jaws is about people. They're on a beach. And don't forget the shark. People, they're on a beach. It's a lot of taco meat, a lot of chest hair. A lot of uh, taco meat, chest hair. What? The things are talking about this film. And the first thing is just chest hair. Great. Just like everyone has chest hair. Um, people, really? Tacos? Suspense? Water? It's caused a lot of a uh, big part of history on how we saw sharks differently. Um, this is a, a Spielberg film. Anything else? Okay. Big ass shark. She's got it. It's got the shark in it. Great. Big ass shark. I don't know if it's mutated or like possessed. Well, I'm glad it isn't. At the time, this was the 1970s. If they made it mutated, it probably would just be like a plastic bag underwater. A fish with seaweed underwater. Well, I'm glad it didn't go to that direction. And plus, uh, there's other films that featured mutated sharks. Ghost sharks. And don't forget your robotic mega sharks. Or you just haven't watched them, but seen them by Asylum. Because they're known for that kind of stuff. Jaws goes like that or whatever. It was like a... Massive. Jaws. Jaws. Yeah, I think it's just about people dying. Yeah. There's more to it than that. I feel like... I feel like these people behind the camera are really trying to get them to say something. Really pushing them to say stuff. I'm ready to swim, Jim. I'm totally messing with you though. This proves my point. I think the cameraman really wants them to say just the most random shit. Oh, I can swim. When did this video came out? Oh yeah, 2018. Jesus. Well, I guess they're in high spirit and all. Lay off the drugs. I got nothing. <laughs> just got... I'm almost downtown, but I've got a couple of Oh, this, this is an old movie. No shit, Sherlock. Did no one ever told you that this was made in 1975? Was I right about 75? Yeah, 75. Yeah, okay. Anyway, why is that? You say it like it's a bad thing. There's so many films, and especially the new ones. Without the new ones, we had the old ones. Everyone's tan. Where is this? The Jersey Shore? Thing to talk about? Tans? You're asking the wrong questions. Especially in this scene, right? 
this is not even the beginning of the film. This is during the point where Brody is the only one that has the sense of of a doubt that it could be a shark attack. He's just worried and he wants to close the beaches. Yet you got the mayor who wants to prevent him. And which is understandable due to money and business and he's quite a bit of an asshole really. But Brody is sitting there. He knows there's something wrong. He knows there's a shark. Spielberg is excellent at doing, creating suspense on the main character who looks around, sees if there's anything wrong and he's, he's so getting so uncomfortable. So you got all these things around, including the people that are talking to him. Just you know, just this false alarms here and there, and eventually you get to that point. And the first thing you talk about is tans. And this is the Jersey store? Is that supposed to be a joke? You think it's a comedy? Fuck. Where is this the Jersey Shore? So this man's face is far too close to the camera. Never heard of, I don't know, camera angles, cinema photography. You know? Neither? Also, this is meant to show you that the person is talking to Brody. Brody's not paying attention because he's focusing on the background and you of the person screaming. Because he's worried, you know, I don't even have to tell you this. If you've seen the film, you get what I'm getting at. If you haven't watched the film, it's a great film. You say it like it's a mistake. Gosh. Uh, Tricked me, but she got eaten. She, these young kids horsing around. Oh yes, kids horsing around because they're kids having fun in the ocean. We're not even halfway in the video and already... Okay, here's the classic music. Here's the classic music. Have you watched the beginning of the film? It was playing... The theme song was in the beginning of the film. Okay, here's the classic music. Suggesting that, ah oh, yes, I hear it again. Or you're hearing it for the first time, even though the music was at the beginning of the film itself from the main credits at the beginning of the film. Hmm? There, there could be, this could be taken in so many ways. We're seeing the, the, the shark's POV, we're seeing legs. They look delicious to the shark. <laughs> You just want to see everyone die. There's someone swimming. Yeah, just like the other people that were swimming. Is that it? Tell me something. If your friend, or your, 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 if a son or someone that you cared, you do not say, Oh, was that it? There's a leg there. Oh, I missed the action. <laughs> oh, sh he really bit her. Her. If you if you pay attention, go back a little bit. That boy. It was a boy. What the hell? It's not... What do you mean her? What's the goddamn film? A lot of blood. Blood. Blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. Is that really how shark attacks happen? Blood everywhere. Is that really how shark attacks happen? This woman is a genius. I'd like to know where her education came from because history, no, it wasn't history or documentaries, school, probably because that's where we all learn our education. You know, we got, us, we, we got ourselves the next Einstein. That definitely like does not happen. Just blurb. What do you mean it didn't happen? We see it. It's happening right there. What do you mean? It, uh, it didn't happen. <laughs> There's a child that's covered in blood, like spurring out blood, and you're like, oh, that didn't happen, even though it's happening right there on the screen. What the Especially they sometimes attack people when they feel threatened or get annoyed by a human being that's there next to them. And there's rare cases where they, you can, depends on the shark, you can give them a belly rub and they'll be perfectly fine with it. No one is noticing this! No genius is back again. What do you mean no one is noticing? Everyone is. Everyone is a f look terrified and look, everyone's shocked. Everyone is looking at this. Keep, keep, keep watching and guess. And you will see everyone is running away. Some people are going forward. They want to know what the hell is going on. Yeah, th these kids are bugging out because once I already seen the red sh I'm out. But if you saw someone that is not severe as what we're seeing in Jaws right now, but if someone had a gush of blood, you would definitely care about it and try to help them. 
No matter what. You're not going very fast. You're not going very fast. Have you ever been in the fucking water or beach? Like that. Especially you got water and on sand. Running. It slows you down. Especially those two kids are holding a, another kid that's in shock. While everyone is in the crowd are running. In fact, if everyone went completely fast or even run, outrun other people, other people will trip over, everyone will get hurt. Panic does not work. They're not going very fast. They're kind of like, oh no. What do you mean, oh no? Everyone is genuinely terrified, confused, and shock. And, and even I would be terrified to go in the water after seeing someone especially just disappear with a gush of blood. In the, there was a deleted scene where we get a close up on the shark, but the reason why it was added out, but it can suggest that Steven Spielberg didn't like that bit because it showed the shark, but like, or there was technical issues and it just didn't look right. But uh, we get to do a look, we get a really good look at the shark at that sequence. But even though it's a deleted scene, even though it's not in the film, I'm pretty sure some people might have saw the shark anyway. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, she can't find her kid. Where's Jimmy? That is sad. Who the fuck is Jimmy? The kid was named Alex. Alex? Oh my god, no, this is worse than the shark. Come on, stop it. That's not how you get people's attention. What do you mean that's not how he gets people's attention? Look, watch the f Everyone even turns around and looks at the person. What do you mean? I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. I can't understand him. His uh, accent was pretty easy to understand. Uh, if, if you really had trouble understanding him, go back and uh, put subtitles on. Especially when he's already in English and he has a Pacific accent. Sounds Australian? British, possibly? It's actually neither. His accent is uh, English pirate, kid code, salty dog accent. Shaking, tenderizing. He doesn't have good manners. He's talking with his mouth full. Well, he doesn't seem like the type of person that would give a shit. There's, there's other things to be more concerned about than just manners. A kid dies. Most of the people are not paying it or care about it. I mean, they only care about the beaches. No one is that informative about this. Some people not even don't even think the shark actually is out there. But Quint and Brody are the only ones that are actually doing a lot of proper work. And we'll get into the other character later on. Fucking with his mouth full. I don't trust him. Even though we introduced him straight away, we don't trust him. What do you mean we don't trust him? What, 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 uh... He might not look trustworthy. He might not act like it. I think that's not the main goal this movie is trying to make here is, uh, who's trustworthy. That man was born on a boat. You can just tell. Throw the same thing I throw in the movie Bagani. He ain't shit. Throw the same thing I throw in the movie Bagani. He ain't shit. I played it several times, I'm trying to... This could be taken so many ways, what he just said there. Chump some of this <gasps> Oh, sh**! The guy on the boat literally just, like, stood up and did nothing. What could he do? He was, he was, uh, he was chucking fish guts. The shark appeared out of the water, he stood up. Or well, you want him to go, like, full punch the shark or whatever. Yeah, if you want to get eaten. Oh, maybe you're referring to him telling to his other mates, I'm not aware that the shark appeared. That could, that could be a little more logical, but the thing is, he's in shock. In fact, he has never seen the shark up close until now. Gun? Hmm, yes. Still won't affect it. Would, would do nothing, really. Scream at it? Punch it? Kick it? That's not gonna do anything. He doesn't have the spear, even though the spear hasn't even doesn't appear later in the film. What? No one has a reaction when the shark comes up. I don't understand. Yes, they do. In fact, more reasonable. This person has seen the shark. He is absolutely scared because he 
In fact, he's actually read a couple of books about the sharks, and this is his first encounter. And second, I'm actually third. He is in shock because of how massive and everything about it it is. And fourth, everyone was terrified about it. Everyone acted reasonably. Except that point where, uh, I don't know, when Brody told the life reservers and guards or whatever to not whistle because that will cause more panic. In fact, that's one of the many reasons. What I love about this film is because they explain why panicking doesn't do anything besides make the situation even worse. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Uh, you guys are gonna need a lot more than a bigger boat. You're gonna need a better captain. Better captain? What do you mean better captain? What has he done so bad? Please tell me, what has he done so bad? Watch the film. Quint is the most best hunter. In fact, if you saw his warehouse, you could see all these shark skeletons, bones, everything. He seems to be, he, the first time, the way he talks, what he's talking about, you would notice that he knows that the shark is still out there while they, while everyone caught the wrong shark, you know, the tiger shark in the film. He provides a lot. He's not just there to steer the boat. He doesn't want these other, he, he's not doesn't like having a crew, and we'll get into that. He teaches the cr how his crew should work on things. You guys are gonna need a lot more than a bigger boat. You're gonna need a better captain, because you're a wimp. I don't know how you establish, clearly don't care much about this, his character, but uh, calling him a wimp is not really pleasant at all. You can call him from anyone, but you haven't even seen the bit where he explains a lot about him being during the Navy during World War II. The Indianapolis. He's serious. Where he spills out quite a lot about himself during the time. Where he explains, I don't even have to talk about what he says. I'll just show you the clip. You were on the Indianapolis? What happened? Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side chief. He was coming back. <laughs> From the island of Tinian to Lady, just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. Eleven hundred men went into the water. The vessel went down in twelve minutes. Didn't see the first shark for about half an hour. Tiger, thirteen footer, you know. You know that when you're in the water, Chief, you tell by looking from the dorsal to the tail. You know by the end of that first dawn, Lost a hundred men. I don't know how many sharks. Maybe a thousand. I don't know how many men. The average six an hour. On Thursday morning, Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robinson from Cleveland. Baseball player. Bosun's mate. I thought he was asleep. He'd been bitten in half below the waist. And low, and three hours later, a big fat PBY comes down and starts to pick us up. You know, that was the time I was most frightened, waiting for my turn. I'll never put on a life jacket. Yeah, and here's the thing you probably you obviously didn't know, but uh, careful what you say. They're looking kind of nervous. I bet she's gonna be the first one to die. The shark's getting closer. There she is. Is there only one shark? It's like the shark. We'll call her Bessie. I'm glad it wasn't called Bessie. That sounds like more of a name, close resembles to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. So well, I'm glad it's not called Bessie. We don't know if this is a female shark. In fact, yes, there are spawns of other shark films. We don't even know if the shark is the same shark as the other sharks, is the same species. Yes, the same species. What am I talking about? It's a great white shark, but we don't know if they're related. We don't know if it's the same shark. And they completely fucked it up with Jaws to Revenge. Well, I'm glad it's not called Bessie. It's named after Spielberg's lawyer, Bruce. Which is quite funny and quite ironic. Nemo did a rehash of that with Bruce. Literally when like, blah, destroyed it. Blah, it didn't destroy it. It just tumbled on it. I'm pr Wait a minute. You skipped all the details. Where, hang on a sec, I need to go back a bit, because I'm, there was a sequence where the captain destroyed the radio, not because he was a wimp, 
because he had that big speech where it kind of conflicted and kind of reflect and probably had signs of PTSD in his system about the times where he was in war, which kind of, I guess you could say that he didn't want his other fellow captains get killed or anyone else by the shark if they called in more people. It's, it's I'm gonna defend themselves because I think he took it. I think he took it as a his own battleground. That's what you can call it. And let me quite say, I think that's quite genius. That it's not explained, but you kind of get that. You can think about it. Unlike these people have. After all, this is their first time watching. Oh, and by the way, the terrible way to first watch something. Seriously. If you're in a cinema, I know there's people out there that they talk non-stop. I had a couple of experiences where if you talk over a film, you'll miss details. Not just that, attention. And the problem is with a reaction video, you have to talk due to copyright strikes. What do you think of it? And to other people, they'll just see it, see you just completely not saying anything. But at the same time, you'll get their reactions. I don't, it's not a commentary. There's, I think there's a difference to that, but and then again, who what am I to say? I, but I have seen there are so many people. I'll just put a row of these people here. They do talk in the film, but guess what? They pay attention. They know what they're talking about. They're, they're watching the film, unlike these people. What I think of whoever watches the, the film for the first time, you should not act like this. And you're like, oh, I didn't think, I don't know what to think about this film. Oh, no. Maybe. Have some consideration. Watch it the second time. Hmm? There are times you missed like the all the other bits, you know? You could do that, yes. I, I want to know, I would like to know what the hell they skipped out. I don't know, I think there are, like I said before multiple times, the man behind the camera probably really want them to push what they had to say, what, what they didn't know what to say. They're treating it as like a comedy. They, they are, they treat you as like a comedy, like this is not a comedy film. And by the way, here's another tip. Do not watch a movie this, like, like a tab about this big. Because you really have to go zoom in to see all, even the details that does not pick up on tiny screens. I mean, you have to like, Jesus, I'm off track, sorry. No, the shark didn't just destroy the boat by going kabloom. No, it, it, th there was multiple times with the uh, boat completely fucking blown up while the captain kept steering the boat away, steering the boat away from the shark and multiple times where the shark did hit the thing. It's a pretty good shark, I believe it. For 1975, even if you watched the film recently, the shark is brilliant. You cannot get better. She's sinking, you guys. Because the shark is on top of their boat. Especially the characters are, are wait a minute. Quint and Brody, yet they skip. So the thing is, I like about when YouTube channels or whatever, like reaction videos, like they constantly skip out. Unlike some I've seen that just completely added the entire film just with their reaction video. And cut out bits, which I like what they did here. They, they skip out so much. What they say makes no fucking sense, I guess. You got, you got Quint here, you got Brody. They're throughout the end video, except the, the other character that they completely fucking skipped it out. Hooper. Hooper. I was going to make some, some points here about Hooper, but why bother? I mean, like, if you're going to skip him out, I might skip him out. <laughs> Who cares about Hooper? I'm just kidding. Brody, Quint, and Hooper, and Ellen Brody are the best characters and most believable. But Hooper is not featured. I guess the, the uh, people who are reacting to the movie didn't have anything to say about Hooper. Did not have it said anything about the uh, mayor. Did not have anything to say about Ellen. Right here. Trying not to get- oh no. Right here. Trying not to get- oh dude. They're on that slight tilt. There's water going- there's water on the boat. It's like sliding down a slide. Seriously. He's absolutely so freaking terrified that he's going down into the shark's mouth. I mean, he's got his legs in front of the upper mouths and lower mouths trying to not get eaten. 
unless you have the reflex to jump on the other side on the yeah, he could have went to the side on the side but guess what this happened quickly to a point where I don't think it would have matter yeah but uh play the footage a bit again pause look where he is how the f are you able to get out of that you're right there try to you can't jump there isn't no, you cannot jump on it like that you cannot um go if you try to move sides you'll still get eaten somebody help him somebody help him yes, i agree somebody should help him who and how i mean brody tried to help him but his his hand slipped and i don't know i'm being maybe i'm just too serious Yes, okay, maybe I'm being too serious, but uh No, I'll be serious because it's more fun Plus, I know and I'm not taking the piss I am taking the piss out of these people, but I'm not gonna I don't hate them. I don't even know these people. I'm just making fun <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm a, currently right now. I'm a child He's kicking him with this really oh and on it's just like ah doesn't all the extra shit the shark is eating mess up the taste of the human no i don't know i might look it into the book or search it up but uh i don't think i have to be a genius to know that sharks are not the same as people in terms of eating extra shit the shark is eating mess up the taste of the human shark didn't like or had something wrong with the taste? I don't think it would fucking care, especially when it does. It nothing happens. You know, it doesn't puke up or goes like, oh, you don't taste good. No one has peeped a word. I think what can you say to this situation? Seriously, no one has peeped a word. Chris gonna go like, oh shit, Quint. I'm sorry, it eats and oh Quint, you're dead. Don't say anything if you don't know what to fucking say. Especially, what can you say? Seriously, very intense situation. Your mind would go like, "Oh fuck, what can I do? Oh my god!" No, you wouldn't talk out loud. You were trying to figure out how the fuck to get out of this situation in an environment where there's no one, just Quint Hooper, who hasn't been featured in this video, and. Brody, who, because the camera's focused on Quint, because he's in that situation. I think his friend probably should have helped him. You're what can you do? There's no, oh, bro. dude, he can't do anything. Brody tried, he did his best. He's, he's not happy that he, Quint died. In fact, what can Brody do, grab a stick? And give it to him, well, that would be great, but there's nothing there. I think his friend probably should have helped him. You're right, he could at least like throw something at him. What are you on about? Throw something. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, throw something. Hit Quint in the face. Knock him out, unconscious. Kill him. Throw something at the shark. No effect. Because it won't do anything. The shark was. Because this shark is not like any sharks. It is. Hungry from thirsty for blood, even including even though this was made in 1970s and sharks were not well known, but uh, we could take the shark as not the type of typical shark we mostly know of, especially it's humongous compared to other sharks out there. Probably during the 1970s, this was the biggest shark ever. Not speaking to Megalodon. Or hey, right, it could have done something, but uh, what could it be done? Not really. Could have uh, could have shot the shark, even though we know that wouldn't affect him. We could have thrown something. Yeah. Even though they're on a slight tilt angle, Brody is holding his, his for his life onto anything so he doesn't fall in uh, for a couple of several seconds. This happened. This didn't happen for very long. This didn't take time. Hey, stop! It seems as though that you don't die. On the first bite. Well, that depends. Like the leg, the hand, maybe a bit on the shoulder. But you, your entire fucking torso, your guts. Quint, 
He clearly got killed. He's dead. He almost like slid into the mouth very slowly. It, it happened so quick though. It, it, to your mind, yeah, he could have done a couple of things. Yeah, because you got plenty of time because you're not in that situation. Plenty of time to think about it. Hmm? It's pretty much, it's a human instinct, really. I thought he was just like, oh no. Yeah. Like, oh no, I'm going to die. Like, oh no, this is just the end. No, he wasn't like that. You people. No respect for Quinn, especially in the iconic sequences as this. And you're just blabbing about the fact that he, oh, he could have done something. Well, well, guess what? He didn't. Move on. Yeah, I mean, my heart's kind of beating. I think this, this plot doesn't make any sense. I make any sense? The whole movie makes perfect sense. It's a shark killing people. And, and people are going to hunt it. That's it. In fact, I could get a little bit more into that, but seriously, that's this is the most basic plot for a fucking child who can understand that. This plot doesn't make any sense. I felt no emotion. I... It felt no emotion. Maybe because you're constantly talking over, not paying attention, treating it like a comedy instead of an actual film. And I got a feeling that you didn't actually watch the film. I feel like these, are, these people are millennial. It's, it's really uncanny. Who knew? I feel like everyone was just kind of like... Yeah, because you weren't paying attention. Everyone wasn't like... Everyone was talking about it. Alex, the kid who passed away. The mother. She was completely devastated. In fact, Brody um, knew there was a shark. And, oh, you missed all the... It feels... There was so much in this video that was completely skipped. That I, I got, there is so much now I'm backing this up. There is so much that it's, it's just a conspiracy. I still don't get it. I don't think a shark is like on a mission to attack a certain group of people. Dude, you're watching the wrong film. This is not Jaws the Revenge. The shark is not on a mission. You guys are training, why, why are you training like the shark is on a mission? The shark is just hungry. And have you, do you know anything about sharks? Even including shark attacks. I believe that sharks do not kill anyone. I believe there was never a shark attack. I think you're all bollocks. There is no conspiracy here. You're making it as one. What are you... I'm, I'm genuinely confused to what made you think that. What are you talking about? It's an animal. It's a sea creature with teeth. Hard to believe. I mean, like, people kill other people. This isn't myth. People of America, if you don't want big sharks like that, recycle, don't put plastics in the ocean, don't put antibiotics in the ocean. This is what happened. Yeah, I guess don't do all that, but that has nothing to do how the shark got here. You, you say like the shark is a hero, because like, oh, don't do all these things, or Bruce will come after you. Like that's, I am, now I'm craving. I am craving for rum, booze. Plastics in the ocean, don't put antibiotics in the ocean. This is what happened. That's what Joss is about. Is that what it's about? Jaws eating people? No. So much going for that it's not just about the shark. It's about Brody. Dealing with this difficultness of a boy who did got killed and these other things that happened. The mayor. The bloody mayor. You got Cooper, who you just skipped out of the video. I'm still salty about that. Quint. You got all these other characters who have good chemistry. You don't talk any about that. The movie is not about just the shark. There's loads more you could have covered, yet you guys didn't. We got this. You're gonna need a bigger boat. 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 Need a bigger boat. I lost the will to live. No, that's not a good one. And I lost all my brain cells. Anyway. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. And, uh, after, this is just a one off thing. I just want to do something stupid. I just want to be, be jolly. Yes, I'm just, uh,